everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chakisha Sims of Her Lovely Plan and I'm here today doing another planner related video. So this week is throwback thursday and we are throwing it back by planning in our classic happy planner so i will be planning for the week of february the 25th through march the 3rd and can y'all believe that we are finished with february i know february is a short month but it still feels like it went so fast um so in this plan with me I am going to try to just stick with three sticker books that I'm using from the Happy Planner this week. Um, and I'm looking to use, um, this was a sticker book that came in the Joann's exclusive mega um, pack. And then this is Boss Babe. This was in her newest release prior to the ones that just came out. Um, and then this one is Color Store that also came out before this one. Happy Planners had a whole lot of releases. But <laughs> anyway, there's neither here nor there. And then I want to incorporate this washi. Um, this washi right here came out of my Simply Gilded February kit, well, subscription box. And it has like some pink and some rose gold. And to bring out that rose gold, I decided to use this um, rose gold dot type washi. So let's go ahead and get straight into planning for this week. This Boss Babe sticker book is where I pulled these daily checklist stickers from um, because I wanted to add a pop of color to this spread. Um, so all I'm doing right now is just trying to get this sticker straight. I always struggle with lining up my box stickers. They are always so crooked. But the good thing about with this paper and these stickers, it does pull up really easily and nicely. down these stickers just wanted to share some just some stuff with you in regards to my planner experience so most of y'all know that I am in a traveler's notebook for my EDC aka everyday carry and it really really is really like my planner right now but I will honestly say when I do jump into my classic happy planner it does bring out a level of creativity that I have not been able to um, develop in my travels notebook right now because I'm really spoiled and I'm loving the kits. However, I think with the kits as well, it's just a different planning style. 
and I love to be able to show you all different ways to plan because not all of us use the same planners. Some of us have travels notebooks. Some of us have travels notebooks that have strings and rings. Some of us have many happy planners, classic happy planners, Erin Condren, you name it. It's so many planners. However, I want you all to just, when you watch my videos, just look at my planning style and realize that it doesn't have to be um, restricted just to one type of planner. Um, last week in my A5, I did do a spread just using straight stickers. I didn't use a kit or anything. So never feel like because you use a particular type of planner that you're locked into using certain stickers. You know, of course, it is traditional that you see people use kits in um, travels notebooks. And there's a lot of people that use kits for Erin Condren as well as happy planners. So be willing to push the envelope. Don't keep yourself in a box. Make sure when you are trying out new planners, try out different ways. Look at these videos. Um, the point of all of our videos, well, I can speak for myself, is just to be able to give you a glimpse of what you can do regardless of what type of planner you're using.
for all of my subbies that likes my that likes <laughs> that like when I'm a little creative. I decided to be um, a little creative with this washi. Um, as you can see, this little icon laptop sticker has a diagonal or a triangular shape. So I decided to line my washi up um, to match that to kind of blend it in all together. And it is cute to me. I don't know what you guys think, um, but I like that. So let me know if you like that little slant that I added on to the spread. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up, add a little bit more washi to this triangle. I wanted to do, again, something a little more creative and abstract. Um, so I decided to use the leftover piece of washi from the top and add some of this rose gold polka dot washi. Okay, so I am finished with my spread and I am absolutely loving it. I'm so glad that I decided to pull these two stickers out of the Ball Spade sticker book because I was going for more of a just pink and rose gold spread initially. Um, but I saw these two stickers um, because I wanted to do some layering because you know your girl loves to layer. Um, and I was like, you know, this would be perfect because it has a lot of different shades that I could have pulled from. Um, but the way it worked, I ended up pulling more so just from this, like, I don't know if you want to call it mint, sea green, some type of greeny, greeny kind of blue color. <laughs> but yeah, so I used that to pull from and add accent colors um, instead of just making it strictly pink. Because I did do a pink spread. I want to say, what was it Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was the Valentine's Day spread. I did a pink spread. So I was like, uh, I don't want to do too much pink. But I did want to make this pink and rose gold because this washi right here was definitely the inspiration. And as you can see, the washi has like little gold, rose gold flickers throughout. And again, this came from my February subscription box from Simply Gilded. Um, and then, of course, this came out of somewhere don't even ask me i know you guys like to ask me and i try to be as informative as possible but i absolutely don't know i will say this this either came from um a roll of washi from hobby lobby or from joanne's because i never buy washi from michael's because i don't know they don't really in my opinion they don't have cute washi but anyway so had to add a little bit more rose gold along with these stickers um that i had in the little boss babe accessory pack that i forget that i had from time to time and i really liked this coffee cup because it had a little heart that matched the color in this spread so i thought that was so so cute so anyway i'm trying to figure out a way of how i'm going to call this um, because I like functionality and I like decorations and what I'm trying to um, show you all when you look at my spray is not just for the pretty but also the function behind it the word I like to put words together but the word I was about to put together was not I don't know I was gonna call it 
Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Cause I wanna put function and deco together and I was gonna call it, put it this way, it's not appropriate. Use your imagination. Functional and deco was gonna be put together and that didn't sound right. People could be like, oh, is Keisha cussing on her channel? <laughs> So anyway, so we're just gonna keep saying like, this is a functional and deco type spread. <laughs> now I'm tongue twist, tongue, getting tongue tied. But anyway, enough with the kiki ha ha's. Um, again, this is a very functional spread as well. It is very pretty um, aesthetically because you have a lot of colors going on, a lot of stickers, but you still have lots of room to write. And this week, because this color went with the um, washi that I was using, I didn't cover this up, which was a blessing because I hate, I hate, and I use that word very rarely, but I hate when I want to use a different color and I have to cover this whole side up, but that's ne neither here nor there. It worked perfectly. Um, and as you can see, I tied in a little flag tail on the end of this and I wanted to keep it a little you know Keisha like and y'all know I'm always doing the most I took this washi and cut it to match the angle of this little laptop or computer screen and then with the leftover pieces um, because I've never used a triangle sticker before I decided to put it here and then I added a piece of um, rose gold here just to kind of make it look a little abstract like I'm a little artist yeah <laughs> so this is it um, it's very self-explanatory. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's Throwback Thursday classic playing with me. Um, and I hope this uh, will inspire you to feel like you don't have to hold out on your stickers and you still have plenty of space. Like one last thing before I go, like, I mean, you can write here, here, you got space here. Like you have plenty of space to write in things. Like you are not lacking for space to write and then one of my other tips is when you go through the week if for some reason you don't use up all the white space then add some more stickers in it if you're not a white space person I know some people are like I don't want to have no white space add more stickers later you never want to put too many stickers especially if you're not sure what your plans are going to be if you know your plans you can kind of do the most but if you don't know what your plans are gonna be, leave some white space and then go back in later. Like if I don't feel this day, I can take a sticker off and put it right there and that's no white space. So I hope this has um, been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like the little bit of creativity I added in here with my little abstract um, cutting skills and all of that good stuff. Um, but. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or my Sunday live streams. And as well, drop me a comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to drop me a line or two. We ban all negative comments because <laughs> you will get blocked. But anyway, um, also make sure you check out the description box because I have a link to my Amazon shop. Um, that has a list of things that I use while I'm filming and some other fun things that I use outside of filming. And I have a lot of diff different discount codes for the PR shop, the shops that I PR for, as well as some referral links to some of my favorite shops like Villa Beautiful, Simply Gilded. And y'all know y'all be looking for the discount on them things. So make sure you check them discount and referral codes out. <laughs> um, but with all that being said, if this video has inspired you, pay it forward and share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.